The Ready, Set, Grow podcast is sponsored by Ag Expert, software designed for Canadian agriculture. Visit them today at agexpert.ca. Welcome to the Ready, Set, Grow podcast sponsored by Ag Expert. Uh, my name is Michael, and today I'm here with Joe Dales and Nevin McDougall, partners at RHA Ventures. Uh, we've had a lot of exciting stuff going on at RH Accelerator over the last few months, and I'd like to introduce uh, Joe to tell you uh, a little bit about those. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Um, I think the major major thing that we've done, well, one of the major things we've done is uh, do a little bit of a slight rebrand. Um, we started out as RH Accelerator, uh, based at the Roundhouse, and uh, I think when we started, we weren't quite sure what the word accelerator meant, um, and so we've used that for the last three years, four years, but the more uh, young founders we talked to um, and investors, we found there was a wide range of understanding what an accelerator was. Uh, there's a lot of government accelerators, there's a lot of... Uh, um, you know, projects that use the word accelerator in them. And so we thought we better rebrand to be a little bit more direct with uh, what it is that we do. We're a, we're an early stage investor. Um, we invest time and money into these early stage companies to help them grow. And so we thought the word ventures made more sense. Uh, we still want to keep with uh, the RHA theme that we had started with so we don't walk away from uh our legacy uh but going forward uh we've changed our our name and it'll be uh rha ventures sounds uh, exciting uh and uh nevin uh, you've recently come in as the new managing partner at uh, rha ventures uh, can you give uh, a little bit of info on yourself uh, and talk about uh, what uh, i guess you're bringing to the team Thanks a lot, Michael. And uh, it really is a, a thrill to be a part of uh, RHA Ventures and the uh, the, the new initiatives uh, being planned and uh, uh, being prepared for launch uh, later this year and into next year. You know, my, my background, Michael, uh, long history in the agri food sector. Uh, you know, many years with uh, industry leading companies uh, such as BASF uh, operating here in Canada, in Asia, in the U.S. Um, so a lot of international experience with uh, large multinationals, um, you know, returned back to Canada about eight years ago and uh, did some great work with uh, Solio uh, in the, uh, the farm supply, uh, ag retail uh, network, and uh, then took uh, more of an entrepreneurial uh, approach and uh, invested and helped uh, operate a small company here in London, Ontario. Um, to help scale and help succession with uh, the founders. Uh, and then most recently uh, started with uh, RHA Ventures as the managing partner. So, uh, you know, I, I think from my perspective, Michael, I bring a lot of, uh, you know, international experience, uh, working with large strategic players, uh, but I've also have the, uh, you know, firsthand experience uh, putting my own money into a company, helping uh, the founder operate it, grow it, and look at a successful exit. So. You know, I think I, I bring a lot of skills and, uh, and capabilities to help, you know, our existing portfolio companies, but also help with, uh, you know, the plans we have for the future. So I'm really excited and uh, looking to uh, to bring value both to RHA Ventures and to the companies that we're working with. Yeah, you already have. We're, we're delighted to have Nevin on board. And um, part of what we found was there was a lot of great companies that that needed investment and wanted mentoring and so over the last few months we uh, we decided that we wanted to continue to grow we wanted to continue to do what we've been doing so um we have restructured a little bit and brought in i think seven new uh partners nevin right uh that made an investment into uh into rha uh, these are a lot of senior leaders in, uh, it, you know, that have um, kind of been the, the the prime part of their careers. Uh, they might have sold their company. They might have retired uh, from their organization. And so uh, we're really delighted to get that kind of firepower uh, into the organization. And that's um, going to be available to help the young founders as they're uh, they're growing their business. So really delighted with that. Um, we've also restructured slightly with um, 
Uh, RHA has been a um, general partner in the 519 Growth Fund. Uh, and Evan, do you want to talk a little bit about what our, our vision is there for, uh, for uh, the 519 Growth Fund for the next, uh, the next few, few years anyways? Yeah, yeah, certainly, Joe. Well, with uh, 519 uh, Growth Fund 1, uh, you know, that fund is uh, more or less uh, fully deployed and uh, uh, working with a number of companies already within the, uh, the ecosystem that we operate. You know, our intention is to uh, start the, uh, the raise for uh, 519 Growth Fund 2, uh, a larger fund uh, that we are looking to uh start the raising for later this year and uh, hopefully close in the first part of 2024. Um, the, the second fund will, uh, t- again, target early stage companies, uh, both the pre-seed stage, but also seed stage companies. Um, you know, our focus will be the uh, agri-food sector, but also the technology-enabled areas as well that uh, have potential for application across industries. So um, you know we're really excited about the uh, prospects of a new fund to um, take that forward into the the marketplace. You know in the uh, you know the six eight months I've been uh, working with the team at RHA, it's pretty evident to me that there's a, a real need uh, for a, a new fund uh, for a team like RHA Ventures to work with young founders. Um, there's a, a, a lot of great founders out there. Uh, but really not enough capital and not enough expertise and support to help these companies uh, grow and scale and, and be successful, uh, supporting economic development, jobs, and growth of our economy. So, um, you know, from my perspective, there's a, a, a big opportunity, but also a real need uh, to raise this second fund and uh, get it active into the marketplace. So I'm, I'm really excited about it and uh, really thrilled at uh, getting the, the plans going forward. Uh, Nevin, would you be able to talk a little bit about the companies uh, that we're looking for uh, and uh, what sectors, industries uh, we'd be able to support the most? Yeah, certainly, Mike. Um, you know, if we look at um, the type of companies we'll be looking at, you know, those uh, pre, you know, those early stage companies, pre seed stage companies with, you know, uh, a minimum viable product, a uh, few customers, a few sales. Um, but, uh, you know, a founder that's looking for, you know, support, uh, some guidance some coaching, um, and likewise, uh, seed stage companies as well, companies that are maybe a little more mature, have some systems, some processes in place, uh, but would also uh, certainly benefit from, uh, you know, an influx of capital and expertise, you know, whether it be a pre-seed stage company or a seed stage, you know, I think our our whole mantra is um, really it's a founders for founders. Um, you know, RHA Ventures uh, is comprised of uh, entrepreneurs, uh, founders themselves, operators. And I think this really differentiates our RHA Ventures in the marketplace. Uh, we know what it's like to uh, run a company, run businesses, scale companies, uh, exit, uh, execute on MA deals. Um, you know, we bring a lot of expertise and direct hands-on uh, experience in in, uh, in these kind of operations. So, you know, I think that really sets RHA Ventures apart. And I think that's the type of value that we can bring to uh, a lot of these companies. So, um, you know, I think there's a, a lot of potential we can bring to uh, different founders in the marketplace. And uh, that's kind of where we're, we're targeting our expertise and, uh, and investment for fund number two. Yeah, I guess uh, if people want more information, Michael, um, we can maybe direct them to the website. Uh, uh, then they can see the portfolio of the companies that we've invested in. Um, you know, get some bios on uh, the partners that we've added. Uh, you know, see the see events we're going to be at and things like that. So, really encourage people to come to the new website. Yeah, I just want to uh, thank everyone uh, for tuning in to uh, this episode of the Ready, Set, Grow podcast. And thank you to Ag Expert uh, for making this possible. Uh, And if anyone is interested in more information or reaching out to us, uh, you can do that at rha.ventures. Thank you.